Welcome to my hardware lab. This is the location that I develop anything in my program that has to do with hardware. I have another location that's more specific for developing documents and even working with the Micro 800 simulator. Now this particular presentation today is for the folks that are taking this course. This is the manual. It's part one of Micro 800 with CCW, but it's the third edition. So this is a new manual. The third edition is definitely different than the second or the first. And there's a set of videos, lectures, that supports this available for subscription currently on Vimeo. So today we're going to talk about watchdog timer. Well, first of all, what is a watchdog timer? In a PLC program, when I say program, you could say project or program. There is a sequence of things that take place. To refresh your memory, it goes out and it collects the state of the inputs. It brings in snapshots of the state of all the inputs. Then it executes the program code, and then it takes the decisions from the program code and sends those out to the outputs, okay, the hardware. Well, that's, that's a cycle, a sequence. The watchdog timer is basically watching to make sure that that sequence doesn't exceed a certain length of time. Now, there's a default time, which is, uh, I can't even remember what it is. I think it's uh, might be two seconds. We could go look. But anyway, what it does is the watchdog timer, if it gets reset once during each of the, of the cycle, the PLC cycle of collecting inputs, executing the code, updating outputs, then there's some background or housekeeping that takes place. So there's actually four steps in the sequence, but it's continuous thousands of times a second. So there's a timer in there, and if it gets hung up any place in that sequence for more than the length of that timer preset, it declares a fault, a watchdog timeout fault. In other words, the watchdog timer timed out with getting reset like it normally would in the normal course of things. So that's what a watchdog timer does. And a timeout is a fault that you get if you get hung up somewhere in your program. Typically where that happens, I'd say not 100% of the time, but close to it, is in your code. You did something in your code like a loop back. In other words, you're executing rungs of logic you have a jump backwards in your code. Maybe you want to execute a piece of code a hundred times. So you loop backwards in your program 100 times and you have a counter and on the hundredth execution it goes on through completes and then you're back into the normal cycle. If you mess that up or you have a counter that doesn't get reset or whatever uh, and it gets hung there you're going to get a watchdog timeout. Now for Connected Components Workbench, the simulator, that watchdog timeout is a, a little different. With a real controller, the watchdog timer is in the controller, that piece of hardware out there, okay? So it's totally independent of the RAM in your laptop. With the simulator, remember that when you run the simulator, you're creating an instance of that simulator in random access memory of your laptop or desktop computer. Then when you power it up, it goes into A mode, whether it's program or run. And when it goes into the run mode, it starts executing the watchdog timer and resetting it. But remember that it's the simulator is running in the RAM of your computer Therefore, you could say that the watchdog timer is a function inside the simulated RAM of the simulator inside the RAM of your computer, which means that it's vulnerable to whatever else is going on with your computer. So there's some inherent challenges and opportunities for problems when you have a simulator that has to run and function correctly on millions of laptops, all different operating systems, different people setting it up, etc. So what we're going to do is I'm going to switch over to my uh, screen to my software and I'm going to show you some things then we'll come back 
and, and wrap it up. We begin by opening up Connected Components Workbench and now we're going to go look to see what kind of resources are being used in our operating system of our computer for CCW. To do that we do a control alt delete and it props up with the task manager and in the task manager we see while well, I'm running Camtasia because that's what I'm recorded with I'm also running you can see their connected components workbench so I'm going to I could right click on this or I can just go more details this is what I wanted you to see right here okay so we've got more details and notice that the recorder what I'm using to record right now is moderate it shows a very low for CCW see right here very low I'm going to right click on connected components workbench I'm going to go to details go to details that's always the first step is go to details and it'll come up highlighted you see it's highlighted in the list right click this is very important set affinity this particular computer has eight processors and for that reason this being an older computer when I say old it's a core i7 and it's fairly high speed it's a Dell Precision it's a good laptop some of my computers have a dozen CPUs the reason that tech supports giving for watchdog timeout errors is that the computer is too fast that's their terminology and their solution is to set the affinity lower so you unselect all processors and then you just select a couple of them and hit OK so what I did was I went in and set the affinity for CCW but that's not the simulator so now let's open up something we'll just open up any old program because it really doesn't matter okay we have a program open let's go back and look at our resources and go to processes <clears throat> and you can see that the usage is still very low and the only thing associated with CCW that you see in there is connected components workbench so let's minimize that now let's open up the simulator start the simulator there it is I'm going to pull it out of the way because uh, we don't we're not really using it for anything other than we're demonstrating something now I'm going to go back to resources and now you see the simulator is there as a separate entity from connected components workbench if I right click on that and go to details and then see it's highlighted right click on that set affinity notice that the affinity is set exactly what I sat or not sat but I, I, I set CCW at four CPUs and the simulator opens at four CPUs okay so what that means to you is that if you open CCW then go set the affinity then open the simulator that the simulator is running at the exact same affinity but notice that the connected components workbench is very low that's power usage uh, CPU is basically zip for both now let's turn on this device to see if it makes any difference you see what happened <laughs> soon as you power this puppy up now remember this is in the RAM of your computer now you've got code that's executing against a section of the RAM in your computer that's supposed to be representing something that is in no way part of your computer it's a simulator so you can see that the it jumped up to very high power usage but it's up to 4.3 percent well actually it varies 17 percent of CPU and see now it says very high now that that's with the and we'll go back and we'll, we'll go to the details 
we'll go to the affinity see the affinity is still set high so I, just for grins I'm going to knock that down to two and go back to processes here and you see it really doesn't change a whole lot but it is definitely lowering the number of CPUs that are being used for that simulator now what I was showing you in this instance is if you set the affinity first for CCW then open up the micro 800 simulator it takes on whatever the affinity that you set for CCW now let's do it the other way around to do that I'm going to pause and then reopen okay I shut down CCW which automatically shuts down the simulator I'm gonna go back to my resources and I'm gonna go to connected components workbench go to details set affinity and you can see that all of the processors are set now right in other words this is something you have to do every time you open up CCW so CCW is running with all of the CPUs now I'm going to open up a program in CCW now I'm going to go to the task manager and you can see that CCW very low resource use go to details set affinity okay verified that now I'm going to go start the simulator and I'm going to power it up okay slide it off to the side let's go back and look at our resources so set affinity still all processors are selected let's go back to processes and go to the simulator go to details set affinity now let's drop that one down so unselect all and we'll just select a couple then let's go back to connect components workbench go to details set affinity see it's still set with all eight CPUs running for CCW but if we go to our simulator it's exactly where we set it so there's two ways you can do this when you open up CCW when you open up CCW you can immediately go and set the affinity or you can go on about your business and if you use the simulator then you can go set the affinity I don't know that one works better than the other but I do know this this computer that we're on right now it has less cores less CPUs than the one upstairs in my other office where I do other development it has at least a dozen and that one has watchdog timeout errors much more often than this one does as a matter of fact I cannot remember a watchdog timeout error on this particular laptop so we definitely know it's associated with the hardware setup of your computer it has nothing to do with the simulator so here's what you need to keep in your head the simulator has simulated RAM it's actual random access memory so you've got this chunk of RAM in your computer and a little piece of it is set aside for the simulator and inside of that is a smaller piece that represents the RAM of a simulated processor so you're trying to execute code in this little space that's part of this bigger space these two pieces of RAM aren't separate so anything going on out here can interfere with what's going on in here so you're thinking well how could the watchdog timeout fault if you've got nothing really going on in here well this is being interleaved with everything else going on in your computer so if it's too fast if your computer's too fast the simulator might actually not be looking when something takes place therefore the simulator doesn't think it happened but it did actually happen so uh, it really doesn't matter the inner machinations of the simulator to us as long as it works so we know that you, if you reduce the number of CPUs and I showed you two different ways of going about that both of them have the same effect as long as the simulator the affinity for the simulator is reduced in the number of CPUs you can do that automatically by setting CCW 
lower than when you open up the simulator, it inherits that set or that configuration for the number of CPUs. I hope this helps you out.